looking for the word date because, you know, people go on dates. Can't relate. <laughs> It's your girl Jay, and today I'm here with my February TBR for 2020. I have great plans for actually reading in February since I did not read at all in January because of my placement, but the placement is over now, so hopefully we're gonna read some books. If you are new to my channel, then you do not know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR. It's her fun way of being a part of my channel, and she always has some weird theme that she chose to go along with why she chose the books that I'm going to read for the month. So for this month, because it is Valentine's Day, she chose a lot of books with like boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, that kind of thing in it. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that she chose is It's Always the Husband by Michelle Campbell. This is a thriller book. That's all I really know about it. I'm assuming that it's a takeoff of the trope that it's usually the husband who kills whoever's dead. So this was actually on my most anticipated releases video when it first came out. I don't remember when that was. I'm pretty sure in like 2017. It was a long time ago and I still haven't read it. So she chose it. It's getting read. Husband. Alright. The next one is The Girlfriend by Michelle Francis. This is another thriller book. This follows a woman named Lori who is the mother to a man named Daniel. He meets a girl named Cherry who does not come from the same lifestyle as them. She quickly realizes that Cherry is not exactly who she says she is and is actually trying to take over Lori's life. So... I don't know if she's gonna try to kill her or what, but I'm ready for it. The next one she chose is The Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West for Boyfriend. This is another one that has been on my shelf for a really long time. It's your typical cute contemporary novel. I'm assuming she pretends to be dating this guy and then they actually fall in love. That's my guess. I don't know if it's true, but this book is from like 2015 and it is 2020 now, so it's been a while since it's been on my shelf, but... Maybe we'll actually read it. The next one she chose is Save the Date by Morgan Matson for the word date because, you know, when you're in a relationship, you go on dates, so... It's like the one Morgan Matson book that a lot of people didn't like. That's all I really know about it, and it takes place at a wedding. Next one she chose is The Bride Test for the word bride because once you're in a relationship, then you get married and you become a bride. I don't know that much about this one either. It's by Helen Huang. All I know is that it is like the companion novel to The Kiss Quotient, which I have not read yet, so... I don't even know if I'm allowed to read this because technically it's following people from the first book, so I don't know. Maybe I'll read the Kiss Quotient, but I don't think I own it. I honestly don't know if I own it. We'll have to see. The next one she chose, she thinks she's hilarious for, is called Ten Blind Dates by Ashley Elston, and she chose this because I've been on a lot of blind dates recently and um, none of them have worked out, so she thought it was really funny. All I really know about this is that it's about a girl whose boyfriend breaks up with her, she's upset about it, she goes to her grandmother's house over Christmas break, and they all decide that they're going to set her up on 10 blind dates for the 10 days that she's there, and it's like the story of that, and then her ex-boyfriend comes and like begs her to take him back, but she's already fallen for somebody else, so... Yeah, that's all I really know about this book. This is the author who wrote This Is Our Story, which I talked about in my underrated books video that I put up like last Monday. I really like that book, so I'm kind of intrigued to see what a contemporary book by the same author is like, so I'm actually really excited for this one. And then the final one that she chose is called Obsession, and it's by Amanda Robson, and she chose this one because once you fall in love, you become obsessed with the person. Personally, I think that's a little unhealthy, but here we are. This is this is my mother's thoughts, so I'm not 100% sure what it's about. I do know that it is a thriller, and I think that it follows a wife and a husband, and then the wife asks him, like, if you had the chance to go for somebody else, who would you go for? And I think that he says her best friend or something like that and it just like ruins her life and then she becomes obsessed and things happen. I'm assuming someone gonna die so that's all I know is probably wrong but that's what I remember thinking about the book when I first bought it a million years ago and still haven't read it. Alright everybody so that is my TBR for February 2020. Let me know down below a couple of books that you're planning to read this month and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!